This week for Building Our Bundle, we look to you for your thoughts on community and how we stay connected. What do you think of when you think about community? We de Luisi Jeremy, de Lewi Gespegawagi Migamagi, mean Wiggy Lakongan territories. When I think about community, first thing that comes to mind is the connectivity of every individual within a community. I think that every decision that you make personally does impact everyone else around you within your community. I also think about, when I think about community, I also think about the common understanding and love for our youth and how we need to provide what we can uh, in terms of resources, support for not just now, but for the future as well. To me, community means a connection to a group of people based on shared values. Sim Gigit, Sigidam Hanak, Ganth Kubowitz. I'm Morgan Mowit, I'm from the Gitsan Nation and um, part settler on my mom's side. And when I think about community, I think about places and people um, and things that make me feel safe and that make me feel comfy. So when I think about community, I think about somewhere um, or someone that I can go to that makes me feel comfy and I don't feel like I need to be someone I'm not. Um, and community also for me makes me think about people and places that I want to invest my own time and love and effort into. So when I think about community, I also think about um, people and places that I care about and I want to make feel safe and comfy for others as well. Hello everyone, I'm Caitlin and to me community is an unconditional support system. It's a group of people that we can rely on or lean on when we need additional support, help or even encouragement and even sometimes love. When I also look at a community I like to symbolize it as a woven fabric meaning that we're all interconnected and that we work as a whole. This can kind of be symbolized with the accomplishments that we achieve together, the celebrations that we do together, the learning and the growing that we do together as well. However, when we kind of hit an obstacle or an adversity, that can also be symbolized by one loose thread in the fabric. And when we look at it as a whole, the fabric is still very, very strong. And I think that resembles how as a community, we grow together, we thrive together, and we flourish together. Community. Emphasis on the word unity, right? Those are your people. Um, whether you choose them or not, they're a part of your life, it is where you belong. And there are certain connections to that group um, that you share in the same. And in knowing, in knowing that you have a greater understanding of how to support one another. Yeah, I think community means comfort for me, safety, um, but it also means accountability. I know that people in my community will hold me accountable when I need it, and I know that I can hold them accountable uh, when they need it. So it's just about uh, being a comfy and safe place that also allows for growth and um, is generative. And yeah, it makes us the best people we can be. I'd like to acknowledge as well that community can look very unique for a lot of people due to the impacts of colonization. A lot of our people have been displaced from their ancestral communities and had to carve out space elsewhere. Um, so we do have indigenous urban communities, we do have indigenous arts communities, we do have indigenous academic communities, we do have indigenous sport communities. So communities can look very unique for a lot of people. When you can't be together, how do you stay connected to community? Honestly, food. <laughs> uh, usually, my closest communities and places I feel most comfy and safe are places that um, either provide me food or food that or places that I can bring food into. So, community makes me think about food, um, and that's actually one way that I've connected to community um, when in these kind of difficult times when it's been hard to connect to community. It's been others have brought me food. Um, when I had my new baby, people brought me meals. And also I make sure to take care of my parents and family um, by bringing them food or snacks or whatever. Um, and just making sure that I'm kind of available to talk in different ways. 
So ways I try to stay connected to the various communities that I'm a part of when I'm not able to be in the same physical space as them is through texting, phone calls, FaceTiming, TikTok, yes, I use TikTok, and even sending letters in the mail. That sounds like homesickness. Something that we have to learn to embrace um, and, and roll with it and learn to work through it because we're going to be met with these feelings again sometime down the line, whether it's the same thing or not. So I love being able to recreate the sense of home or being back in the community. Um, I love the smell of like a campfire or a burning wood stove um, and the smell and aroma that that brings to my memory of good times. Um, and I like that certain foods could can bring that back as well. And again, focusing on the senses, music can be uh, nostalgic and take me back to certain times that I enjoyed um, throughout my youth or even being back home and amongst the laughter <laughs> with family or connections to those people and the words and the meanings that they might have. Um, you kind of eventually have a new comfort in a new community when you're away from where you're from um, and you can bring little pieces along to help you feel that sense, that sense of community of where you're living, but we also have to remember to get outside out of our boxes um, and go out and make some new relations, uh, a new sense of community uh, that we can enjoy now because eventually we're going to move from this current place as well and we might miss a part of it too. In such a difficult time of social isolation, I've really come to embrace digital communication. Whether it be a phone call, a text, a Zoom meeting, or even just something as simple as playing a video game with somebody. It really upholds this idea of community, even though I'm not physically present. It allows me to foster an ongoing connection with those that I love, even though I'm not physically there. And how I stay connected to community without physically being there is just by having those conversations with my family and friends as often as I can. And also by providing support, resources, and research to my government that speaks to Indigenous resurgence and nation building. We'd like you to reflect on what community means to you and how you stay connected. Feel free to send us a photo, a drawing, a song, whatever fills your heart up, whatever makes you think about community, any way you'd like to share. <laughs>